Hey everyone, I'm CJ, and what's going on is sometimes you you see this in the news fairly often, right? Uh, what'll happen is though there's going to be a story that comes around sometimes where somehow it's a newsworthy event when a woman is mistreated or for that matter, even just mildly inconvenienced in a way that somehow goes viral online, or lacking that, at least it becomes sort of a passing news item. And you can, and if you're careful, usually what you'll see if you look for it is a quote from the woman or a woman saying some kind of a variation on, Where are the men? You see it all the time. Right? Just Google that sometime. Just Google it. Where are the men? Something happens. Some Karen has a meltdown about it. She uh, throws she throws her usual tantrum. Usually, there's either a news reporter present or one somehow tracks her down. And the money quote inevitably comes along. Where are the men? Now... The reason I'm kind of singling out Gwyneth Paltrow is because sometime, I, I don't know, maybe 20 years after she hit the wall, desperate to find some kind of way to stay in the press, she basically has said that Black Lives Matter is destroying the paradigm of patriarchy of white men. And... Bad enough to say something just that fucking idiotic, just, you know, all by itself. But the fact is, this was done in the context of uh, a, a Adobe Max and the debut of it. And this, I mean, for, for those of you who haven't kept up, I mean, there's making comics, which, let's face it, everyone has tried to do at some point or another. Some people have been more creatively successful than others. But I think most people at one point or another have tried to create a comic book. And somebody from Adobe saw that, thought they detected a market to be exploited. And so now they've got an app which will basically put together completely customized shitty comics with shitty art and shitty colors based on your shitty script. It's fucking astounding. So anyway, that's really the, the backdrop for all this. What Black Lives Matter has to do with Adobe Max or what the white male patriarchy has to do with Adobe Max, I almost don't want to know. Nevertheless, that was the money quote that that she gave. Black Lives Matter is busting down the patriarchy of uh actually what no, let me what is the exact yeah, the paradigm of patriarchy of white men. And just think about that. You know, this is somebody who she reads eloquent uh, dialogue for a living, which by itself is kind of a bullshit job, but nevertheless, she's got it. She reads eloquent speech all the time. And what she writes, or what she says is, paradigm of patriarchy of white men. I mean, is it really that hard to say that Black Lives Matter is destroying the paradigm of white male patriarchy or something? Do you really need two ofs in there? I don't know. I mean, her entire career is basically a testament to uh, nepotism and to whatever degree you believe such a thing exists, white privilege. And so for her to come along and cheer for Black Lives Matter, I, I don't know. To me, that just, it just doesn't ring true. You're all entitled to make up your own minds, but it's just that, that's just fucking not true. But the real juicy part that I want to find here, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. She, meaning uh, the post-wall Gwyneth Paltrow, she continued, I honestly, like, when I see my daughter with her friends, they are so empowered. They have, and I mean this in the best way possible, they have a sense of entitlement that's beautiful. It's not spoiled. It's like, no, we are here for what the boys are going to get, too. I find it very uplifting and heartening that we all seem to be going in this direction together. I think you would have to be a creature of Hollywood to say something that fucking vapid. But, 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just that uh, post wall Gwyneth Paltrow has. Maybe it's just that she caught me on a good day. I don't know because I was uh, cruising around Twitter, and what do I see? Women are being forced to give up their careers, and you know Bloomberg, that bastion of truth and honesty, is reporting that. In August and September, more than a million people dropped out of the workforce. 80% of them were women. And then, of course, you know there's going to come some moralizing that follows after that. When women give up their careers, the choice is almost never a truly free one. Back to Paltrow. So, we haven't seen Gwyneth Paltrow in a movie in a pretty long time. What's it been like over a year at this point, a year and a half? She keeps talking about busting down the white male patriarchy or the or black up with uh, Black Lives Matter, down with Whitey or wh whatever bullshit she's talking about having since having hit the wall. And we now see that more than a million people have dropped out of the workforce between August and September and it makes me think is post-wall Gwyneth Paltrow one of the people that's dropped out of the workforce? I don't know. Anyway, I'm CJ and that's that. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Doing those things really helps me out. Also, I'm on Twitter at Cole Loves Comics.